So Jeffrey Servin is a specialist uh, systems integrator uh, in the field of chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear and explosive detection, you know, which the acronym used is CBRNE. Uh, we're, a, we're really a problem solver at heart. I mean, you know, we're one of the first uh, Australian specialist companies to work in the CBRNE space, and uh, we've been. This is our tenth year in business, so celebrating ten years. Uh, not only do we design and manufacture CBRN equipment, we also do, we also do the maintenance uh, in in Sydney, and we've become the second largest maintenance facility in the world and the largest in the Southern Hemisphere. J3 Center Indo Pacific to talk about some of the threats that are out there in the world that we're living in today. So, from a CBR perspective, you know, CBR does not discriminate between land or sea. It, it doesn't have that you know, discriminator. Over the last 10 years, we've seen a massive increase in the amount of chemical warfare agent being used, and you could argue there's some uh, little virus going around the world, uh, but also uh, with the threat, especially from Russia right now and the Ukrainians on nuclear warfare, the CBR threat has definitely increased. So J37 is here to show the Australian Navy and to show the Australian government that J37 can employ these detectors onto Australian assets and employ standoff detection onto Australian assets and, pr and protect our Navy in the same way that other navies are doing globally. So for the next 12 months, it's really exciting within J37. We've got a lot of things happening. Uh, we've just been awarded a Northern Australian Development Program Award. Uh, we've uh, been successful in a, a simulation training system that unfortunately I can't speak about too much, but in the next uh, few months we'll be announcing uh, the award of that contract. J37 is also in the process of establishing a manufacturing and fabrication capability up in far north Queensland and Cairns. And so we're really excited by that and we'll obviously be speaking to ADM about that when we open it up. But one of the other opportunities that J37Cs is in the uh, robotic space. So we're in the process of uh, bringing one of our, uh, a groundbreaking technology into Australia to the Army uh, Robotics Exposition in, in Adelaide. And uh, we, have a, we have a product called the Ranger R. It, it will carry a payload of three and a half tonne. It will, it will travel the battlefield at 70 kilometers an hour. And this, yeah, this thing is groundbreaking. This thing is different to any other, you know, UGV that's in the, in the market at the moment. So really looking forward to getting that into Australia and, and showing Australian government. So J37's commercial and uh, uh, challenges that we're facing right now, like many businesses, is global supply chain. You know, we've seen a we've seen a huge change in in the time it's taking to get equipment into Australia or even equipment out of Australia. You know, at, you know, for repair, for example. So we're seeing that right now as a global supply chain. However, we're fortunate enough to have a dedicated team within J37 to overcome those challenges, and we're working with our clients and with defence to make sure they meet their KPIs and get the equipment in a timely manner. That's what I see as our biggest challenges. So as the CEO of J37, I'm most excited about you know, what, what, you know, what's happening in the defence space and you know, how we as J37 can grow in, in the manufacturing space, continuing to develop our sustainment capabilities with defence and with the primes, uh, and obviously seeing what new technology that we can bring to the market, you know, some of that cutting edge technology. You know, we, we, we work heavily in the Special Forces uh, area and some of the Special Forces, you know, I mean, are more forward leaning in terms of some of that cutting edge capability so we're really looking forward to bringing that into Australia and, and but developing it here in conjunction with Defence and a collaborative partnership in developing a capability and a sovereign capability for our, our Special Forces partner.